Hey, it's Rob Balasabas here. Welcome to this video. Welcome to my channel for just meeting for the first time. I hope you're doing really well. I want to answer this question. What is StreamYard? And so I respect your time. So let's jump into my screen and let me answer this question for you. All right, let's go. All right, so this is StreamYard. This is the StreamYard website. Now what StreamYard is, is a browser-based live streaming tool. Now StreamYard allows you to go live on many, many different channels, right? YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, inside of Twitch, uh, inside of platforms like Uscreen, which is the company that I work for. And so it allows you to go live, not just on one platform at a single time, but multiple platforms at the same time from one stream. It can be done on your mobile phone, tablet, or on your desktop as well. It's a fantastic tool. If you guys see me live streaming at any given time on my channel or on other platforms, like my YouTube channel, for example, where you're watching this right now, for example, like this one here, I'm gonna pull it up. I'm using StreamYard for this, all right? Really easy platform to use. Now, I'm gonna talk more a little bit about this in just a second, but if you wanna learn more about StreamYard, exactly step-by-step step on how to use StreamYard, how to get started, all the different features and functions, how to record your podcast with StreamYard, I have created a course, it's five modules, and you can go sign up for that in the description below. There will be a link. If you have any questions around it, let me know, but I'll come back to that in just a second. Now, once you've signed up for StreamYard, you've created an account, by the way, there is also a link down below. It'll give you a 14-day free trial on StreamYard on any of the plans. Then you're gonna be dropped into here. This is your StreamYard dashboard. You can see your upcoming broadcast. You can see your past broadcast. You can see your different videos. So StreamYard will actually keep a copy of your live stream so that you can download it. You can download the video as well as the audio. You can repurpose it into a podcast or you can repurpose it into uh, shorter videos or clips or shorts or reels. There's so many different ways that you can take this content. You can also connect a bunch of different destinations. So you can see right here that you can connect all of your Facebook profiles, pages, groups, as well as LinkedIn, your business page, and also your personal page and also YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Hopin, which is actually StreamYard's parent company. And then for everything else that you don't see here, you can use a custom RTMP, all right? Really, really easy to use. Now, uh, you can also create team profiles. So if you have a different team members that are accessing your StreamYard account, maybe you have a remote producer or somebody behind the scenes, maybe a co-host, then you can also set them up here as well. It's an awesome tool, awesome platform. That is what StreamYard does on a very, very high level. And so if you have any specific questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment down below. And also uh, so that I can answer those questions. And also again, before we wrap up, I wanna make sure that you go check out the course that I've created around StreamYard and exactly how you go from not understanding exactly what to do with StreamYard, how to set it all up, to being a professional when it comes to using StreamYard to create your shows, your live streams, you can record YouTube videos, tutorials, all sorts of things. I actually use it for recording my podcast episodes as well. All right, so there you go. It's called StreamYard 101, and I will put a link down below in the description. And with that, I hope that helps you give a very high level of what StreamYard does. There's other videos here on the channel as well. And again, I look forward to your comment down below. All right, see you in the next video. Take care.